Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this very simple and fun whimsical painting. And I guess today I will be using the Centenaire watercolor paper. It is 300 GSM or 140 pounds. It is also 18 by 26 centimeters or 7 by 10 and a quarter of an inch. It is cold press, 100% cotton, so it can take a little bit more water. And I started with wetting the entire paper, then picked up a little bit of the turquoise and I've placed most of the turquoise in the lower part and also particularly in the right side. And then picking up a little bit of the yellow, I won't be, I try not to mix it too much on paper, I don't want to create too much of the green. So I went in between my turquoise and tried to leave those two paints not mixed. and little bit of the lighter brown to add here and there also in the, on the right side and some splatters with brown just to create the impression of some flowers some meadow there again placing those splatters on the lower part and on the right side I do want to leave that left upper side white just to create a contrast between those two parts well, if this is too fast and you want to have it in a slower pace, I do have this video in a real time on my Patreon. So you can check the link in the description box and maybe check it out. Splatters with some pink, again light pink, dreamy pink. And I did dry that with a hair dryer and now mixing in a little bit of the brown and some blue. First I will start with lighter brown to create my first flower. I'll be doing a couple of types of the flowers. This is going to be the first one. Quite simple, loose, just adding some dots and some simple shapes to create the flower heads using lighter brown and then a little bit of the darker brown in the lower part to create shadows and some variety in the color. I'm going to connect those with a stem. And of course, if it makes it easier for you, you can paint in stem first, stems, and then adding some flowers. And adding a bit more in the lower part again painting it as randomly as I can and using different tones of the color every time I pick up paint from my palette it just gives me a slightly different tone this is a darker brown mixed in from blue and dark brown for the second variety and the third variety my flower this one is something like a half circle and I'm painting lightest part on the top and in the bottom where the shadows are lower part of the flower I'm painting darkest now connecting all of that with stems and one darkest stem for the fourth variety of the color, I'm using this pink and some brown in the lower part for the shadows. And you can see I left some parts or so white just to, I guess, make it a little bit more nicer, a little bit more realistic. I don't want to run blotch of the flower. And again, adding a couple of stems. to them some splatters with brown this is a darker brown and also adding a bit lighter splatters with slightly larger brush they can hold a bit more water so the splatters are also a bit less saturated in paint and a bit more diluted with water couple of more flowers with that lighter brown also adding some darker brown at the bottom 
and I do want to concentrate all of that in the lower part. And with that, guys, we are done. Quite simple, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do that. I do have also here um, a lot and a lot of tutorials for beginners and also on painters. I'm sure you will find something for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.